that great. Now, strictly for the purpose of showing off the weapon's effectiveness as much as possible, all the gameplay you guys are seeing is from Ground War. And it's kind of an uphill battle in that mode in some matches, depending on how your enemies are playing and or what flags you hold, because you really have to be relatively close to the enemies for this weapon to do well. And even then, if there's a few of them bunched together, it's not going to be a great time because that 30 rounds mag runs out awfully quickly, even when getting just a couple of kills at a time. There were plenty of moments through my recording session with this gun where I'd stumbled across three or four or even five plus enemies all huddled together and I'd only end up with two or three kills before I got taken out. Just because either I wasn't dealing enough damage to compete with Cooper, the weapons dumb. enemies had, or I ran out of ammo and couldn't reload in time. Cooper definitely went to class. To say, though, up close, huh? this Cooper gun definitely is went to class. Good. Why? It is so no, class it. When you are going around a flag area. He just texted in the Legends group. Oh. This gun he said we don't have class to today. That silence oh. and get that increased FOV really does make it feel like you are a super soldier mm -hmm. in a sense, running around and just slaying out. And then you die to little Timmy camping behind his claymores with a 725, and you kind of get brought back to reality. Outside of those close quarters engagements, though, this gun really is not the best. It definitely would not be my first choice, that I can say with confidence. And in terms of its overall effectiveness and just general versatility, I'd choose the stock MP5 with different attachments over the MP5K pretty much every single time. I also think the MP5K is outmatched by every single main meta weapon there is in the game right now. The M4A1 easily outguns it, there's no denying that, as do most of the other assault rifles as well. And other SMGs like the AUG and even the P90 can be a better choice in some cases too. So as far as comparing it to other weapons go, the MP5K really is not anything to write home about. Now in comparison to the other conversion kit weapons we've made, honestly I would say it just sits in the middle of the pack. It's definitely not as good as the RPK, but it's also way better than the M16. I would say it is the most similar to the AK-74U in many aspects with its running gun ability, but even the AK-74U has a decent damage range unlike the MP5K. This gun excels in its niche area of CQC, but outside of that, this game doesn't favor a weapon like the MP5K that has a decent amount of recoil and minimal damage range. So, after all of that, would I actually recommend this gun? Honestly, if you are someone who is literally always in the enemy's faces, yes, absolutely this thing shreds up close. But if you do have a more conservative playstyle and you don't really rush around a ton, this weapon is definitely not for you. But with all of that being said, that is effectively how you can make the MP5K here in Modern Warfare. If you found the video helpful or if you just simply enjoyed This is so long.